morning friends goodness gracious i think it's been like two or three weeks since i vlogged last it has been insane so if you are new here welcome we just made a big move to lubbock we we're in fort worth and now we are in lubbock my husband is going to be attending texas tech's law school this fall and with everything going on with the coronavirus and he got laid off from his job and just the stars aligned and it just worked out to where we moved here early and just waiting. So we have our house on the market. I haven't mentioned that probably because it's, it hasn't been that long, <laughs> but we just put our house on the market last week and we got a handful of offers and we actually already accepted one of the offers. So now we're kind of in that limbo phase where they you know can do inspections on the house and all that kind of good stuff so hopefully all of that goes good we're pretty close to being unpacked not organized by any means but just kind of unpacked the garage is slowly opening up so i'll probably be able to park the van in there pretty soon but this morning it is almost eight and i'm on my way again to discount tire last time i vlogged or a couple of vlogs ago i got new tires on our van because we've never had them done and they needed it really bad and ever since then i've had a sensor that's been going off on my dash and from a quick google search it looks like it's like a tire sensor so anyway i'm going back so that i'm hoping that it's an easy fix but anyway i'm on my way there so i'm gonna get there i have an appointment for as soon as they open and we will see what the day brings my goal for today is to start and end the vlog on the same day that <laughs> that will be an accomplishment for the day for sure so okay so that took like five minutes and i have never felt more like a woman driver in my life oh my god it was so embarrassing oh my god so our discount tire, and I'm sure all of them are like this, you drive up to the door and they have like a curbside check-in just so there's minimal contact and all that. And so I drove up and it's right on the curb. They're like, okay, drive up to our air check lane, which is right next to the thing. So I didn't really have a lot of clearance to turn. So I'm like hopping the curb, trying to turn into this really tight lane. And I barely made it. And I was like this close to the wall. And the guy's having to like throw his um the hose over and go around to check the tires and it, oh my gosh the tires are fine they just reset the sensor which is what i figured they'd have to do but then when i'm trying to leave again i'm so close to the curb i'm trying to back up and there's just no space for me to like turn or anything like that and i'm trying to turn and i'm just i'm so embarrassed because like there's just all these men looking at me and i don't know and so then i turn and then they have these cones to lead people in and i like rolled over the cone and the, the a guy had to run out and help and stop and i had to like pull forward and back because i guess it went around my tire <laughs> and oh my gosh i'm just i'm so embarrassed and the fact that they were so nice too they're like okay thank you so much ma'am like as i'm just mortified oh my gosh i'm never going to be able to go to that discount tire again so i guess it's good that they fixed it <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh okay so now it's about 11 and we are on our way to costco <laughs> they have been there once so i don't know if it's that exciting I went for the first time like two weeks ago with my dad. We was I getting anything specific? I can't remember. Did you ever? It's like you. Never mind. I'm gonna say it. Well, I got food. I got some food. Right. Um. All right, I'll say it. It's like whenever you go to oh. the dollar store. Oh, I twist my arm. <laughs> yeah, when you go to the dollar store, you're like, I'm just going there for one thing, and then you come out and you're just like. I love the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, whatever. It, it well, Dollar Store, Dollar Tree. When have you been to Costco? Maybe it was Sam that we. Yeah, we've been to Sam's like once or twice. I think Mom has a Costco thing, and I think I've gone with her. I think sure. she has a Sam's one. I feel like I've been inside of a Costco, but maybe I haven't. So this is our first trip to Costco as a family. How about that? That's, that is accurate. I have been doing some research on Costco the past several months. I'm trying to get into that, that game. 
especially now that we're a family of four, I just, I feel like we have to buy in bulk. If nothing else, just for the gummy snacks for Liam. So we're on our way to Costco and we'll see you guys there. So since two of our chairs at the table now are filled with high chairs, we've been looking at like getting just a cheap fold up chair. We already have one of these, I don't know. This one is $21.99 and the other one is $15.99. Hmm, this one's padded. I don't know, we'll probably wait. We're just looking. Okay. Liam, you see your mask? Is it for safety precautions? Do you have your tattoos on from going on potty earlier? Oh my goodness, how cute is that? Of course that was in my size. Okay, so we actually did come for towels. This is a 12 pack of hand towels for $16.99. And then these are the big towels. These are $4.99 a piece, which is an awesome price. But then these of the same one, these are four piece for $12.99. Okay, squirrel. They have these decorative pillows in two packs for $16.99. And then these, oh, I think, I think we need this one. Because we have our couch coming in a couple of days. This one, how much, this one's $9.97. Okay, so I just now remembered. Me and my dad came here to look for a sectional. That's what it was. And they had nothing. And now they have aisles and aisles of sectionals. He's putting the car back. Oh, it's hot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my mount is burning hot. Oh, my gosh. I just burned myself on the mount. So, that was fun. Okay, so what did you think? I thought it was pretty cool. I can definitely see the allure of getting everything in bulk. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby So stuck, I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever Feel so free, oh my sweet baby Okay, so now I'm going to try to organize Lucy's bows a little bit more. I've been working on getting her bows organized longer than I care to admit. I got a container at Costco today that I thought was gonna fit under her crib and it just barely doesn't fit, but it will fit under Liam's bed. So I'm gonna clean that out and then I'm gonna work on putting all of her seasonal bows in that container and hanging up the rest of her bows on her wall. And then I'm also gonna be hanging all of her top knots and her wraps on the, I think I'm gonna put it on the back of her door. So yeah.
I know it doesn't look organized, but you saw me. I was getting by type. I've got all of our pop culture media up here. Got animal prints, flowers, messy knots. Got our sequin knots. Got our velvet top knots. Amazing. And this is just in like a, a shoe organizer that you hang shoes on. I saw somebody did this with their bows in one of my bow groups and I just thought it was genius because these are so hard to organize. These over here, her room is coming together. I realized that my bow hobby is ridiculous, but there are way more expensive hobbies, so leave me alone. <laughs> but yeah, I feel so much better having these up and it may not look like it, but they are organized. Do you love it? As she doesn't even have a bow in her hair. Yeah? You show, yeah. Can you say milk? Have you learned how to say milk? Good job, yeah, big girl. Good job. You see all your pretty bows? <laughs> Yeah, she is in a stage right now where she pulls her, she will not, no, she doesn't pull them out of her hair, she rips them out of her hair. So if I want to try to get a bow in her hair, I have to like distract her so she doesn't realize it's there. And then I might get like an hour or two out of it, but yeah. Who's that girl? Who's that pretty girl? Yeah. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. It is, I think it's a little past six, so we need to get dinner and... Baths and everything started. Yeah. Milk. Okay. Loud. I hear you loud and clear. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel below. Make sure you hit that bell icon. That way you don't miss out on any other videos. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>